Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we will write a python program to print addition table. In this program we will take two inputs from the user. One is the starting value and another one is the ending value of the addition table. Before writing the program I will show you few input and output sample. Now if I enter starting value as 1 and end value as 5 then we will get this addition table. Here we can see 1 and 1 so we will get 2, 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 3, 4, 1 plus 4, 5, 1 plus 5, 6. Next in the next row we will get 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 2 plus 3, 5, 2 plus 4, 6, 2 plus 5, 7 like that till 5. So this is the starting value of the table, this is the ending value of the table. And here while entering the input, start value need to be smaller than the end value. So let's write the program. In the program the first step is we need input that is two input start and end value of the addition table. In the python file first step is we need to take the input. So I'll take first variable name as start and here I'll use input function to take input from the user. Let's write a message here and here we want integer input because here we want to print the addition table of integer values. So here I'll use int function to convert the input to int because in python 3 by default this input function will take input as the string value. Here we want integer input that's why I'm using int function here. Let's take another input end value. So we are done with the input now. Next we need to print the addition table of this value. If I look this addition table it looks like a pattern right. It has rows and columns. Here we can see these are rows and these are columns. If I enter start as 1 end as 5, row will start from 1 and it will end at 5. Column also start from 1 and end at 5. That's why to print this addition table we need two for loop. One for loop is for row, another for loop is for column. First I need to take for loop for row, inside that I need to take the for loop for column. That is because we will add the number like this. In the first row, first we will add 1 and 1, 2, 1 and 2, we will write 3, 1 and 3, 4, 1 and 4, 5, 1 and 5, 6. After completing this row, we will go to the next row. That's why first I need to take the for loop for row, inside that I need to take the for loop for column. So here, let's take two for loops and here range is from start to end plus 1. In this addition table we can see the row is starting from 1 and ending at 5. What is this 1 and 5? This is the start and end value. That's why here I am taking range as start to end plus 1. Here end plus 1 because in the range function the last value is exclusive. End value is exclusive. If I take start as 1 end as 5. Here it will take range from 1 to 6. Then it will give i value as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 is exclusive. Okay, that's why you need to take n plus 1. Next, let's take the for loop for column like this. Here also same range, start to n plus 1. Okay, so now we are done with the for loops. Next, we need to add the numbers. So, I'll take print i plus j. And here I'll take end is equal to space. That is here. In the row 1, when i value is 1, that is row is 1, first j value will be 1. So we will add 1 and 1, i and j value will get 2. Next I need to add 1 and 2, right? And we need to print the result in the same line. That's why here after adding i plus j, I will take end is equal to space. If we didn't take this, end will take the default value that is slash n. After printing the result, it will go to the next line. But here we don't want that. That's why I am taking end is equal to space here. Right now, after completing a row, I want new line. That's why I'm using print function here. Here, end value is slash n, so it will go to the new line. After printing the values of all the columns of one row, we need to go to the next line. That's why I'm using this print function. Now we are done with this program. So let's execute this program. So I'll take start value as one and end value as five, and here you can see the table. Now if you want you can take another condition here that is as I said in the beginning start value need to be always less than the end value. If it is greater than the end value then we will not print the 
addition table here you can include that condition if you want like this if start is less than end then perform this operation like this here you can take else part you can print any message in the else part now suppose if i enter start as 5 and end as 1 it will print this message if i take 10 to 15 here you can see the value table and one more thing if you want you can format this output that is if i enter here you can see numbers are printing in different shape right that is because here 6 7 8 9 are the single digit and uh, and few numbers are double digit that's why if you want to solve this you can format the output here you can just use format and uh, can give three space for every number and now if i execute this and if i take three two nine and here you can see so this is the format function which is used to format numbers or string and if you want to know more about this format function i will give you the link of the video in the description box you can go and check that now if you want to print the row and column number with the addition table then how to do that that is uh, here you can see we are printing column number also right if i show you another example here start is 5 end is 8 here we can see we are printing the column number and row number with the table and if i want to do that in the program then how to do that so for that for row you can include here print i value and here you can take end is equal to space like this here you need to format this also format the problem with this format function is if you are formatting one print function then you need to format all the print function in the program you need to take same space here you can see now row numbers and now if i want column number then i need to take a separate for loop for that like this you can take 4k in range start to end plus one like this we need to print k and as i said you need to format this also format k use space as three here use end and here i need to use a print function and here we need to include space you can print like this okay so if you want to print column number and row number for row number you just need to print this here but for column number you need to take this first you need to print few space that is because here we can see in the beginning we want space that's why we need to print space next we need to take for loop and we need to print these numbers and next we need to take two for loops that is for here this space here this is for to print this space first print next for k in range start to end that is to print these numbers and these to print function for this space it is just to decorate the output if you don't want to do that it's okay all right so this is about the addition table so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care